in this video we will discuss the construction of an involute the given question is draw involute of circle of diameter 50 mm that is the diameter of the circle is given which is 50 mm therefore the radius of the circle is 25 mm so first we'll draw a circle of radius 25 mm so with the help of compass and scale i'll take 25 mm radius and draw a circle of 25 mm radius now we have to divide this circle into 12 equal parts for that first i'll draw a horizontal diameter then a vertical diameter now the circle is divided into four equal parts now again take your compass keep the pointed edge on this point mark the radius of the circle and draw two arcs here now again keep the pointed part here mark the radius and draw the arcs like this keep it on this point mark the radius and draw arc like this now keep it on this point mark the radius and draw the arcs now we have to join the opposite arcs join this two opposite arcs with a line passing through the center of the circle now the circle is divided into 12 equal parts just name the points which are obtained 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 now from this 12th point draw a horizontal line whose length will be equal to the circumference of the circle so first we have to calculate the circumference of the circle so the formula to calculate the circumference of the circle is pi into d that is 3.14 into the diameter of the circle which is 50 mm 50 so we get 156.7 mm which is approximately equal to 15.7 cm so from this point the 12th point we have to draw a horizontal line of 15.7 cm now just like we divided this circle into 12 equal parts the same way we have to divide this line into 12 equal parts so for dividing it first we have to draw a line from this point this 12th point of any length like this and now with the help of scale from the 12th point mark 12 points at a distance of 1 cm each that is from here we have to mark 12 points at distance of 1 cm to 
dual points of distance 1 cm each. Now with the help of a roller scale, join the end point of this line with the 12th point of this line. Now, with the help of the scale, we have to draw parallel lines to this line using this point. So, this is the 11th point. Just draw a parallel line. Now name these points as 1 dash, 2 dash, 3 dash, 4 dash. Now this line is divided into 12 equal parts. Now from this point 1, this point, with the help of protractor, draw a perpendicular line. Keep it like this. 90 degree. And draw a perpendicular line like this. Similarly, keep this on point 2. Mark 90 degree and draw perpendicular line. Repeat this for all the other points. Point 3. After drawing perpendicular from each and every point of the circle, the, the diagram would look like this. Now, from now with the help of compass, put the pointed edge on point 1 of this line and mark the distance till the 12th point. And now keep the pointed edge on point 1 of the circle and mark a arc on this line again keep the pointed edge on point 2 of this circle of this line take the distance till 12 now put it on the point 2 of the circle and mark a arc on this line again put the pointed edge on point 3 of the line take the distance till 12 Keep it on point 3 of the circle, draw the arc. Now keep it on 4, mark till 12. Now keep it on the 4th point of the circle and mark an arc on the line. Repeat the step for all the points. Now mark this point 12 as P, this point as P1, this point as P2, this as P3, this as P4, P5, P6, 
P6 because it passes through point 6. P7. P8. P9. P10. And this is P11. Now, with the free hand, join all these arcs and make a curve. So from here, now join P7 to P8. P7 to P6, P6 to P5, P5 to P4, P4 to P3, P3 to P2, P2 to P1. Now this P1 to this P. So this curve which is drawn is known as involute of the circle.